Okay, what's up guys? So I'm bringing you something crazy. So I am doing a how-to now. So yeah, Desi's doing a how-to. So basically, a lot of you guys have been asking for this. It's how to make a Minecraft Pocket Edition texture pack slash PC texture pack. You can do the same thing, but I'm not going to do that unless you guys want it. Comment down below and I will do a tutorial on that. But here's a Minecraft PE way. Now, I don't know if this works for iOS. I don't know if these apps are in iOS, but you're going to need... Three apps, three apps, and I will put the apps down here. Let me go to my apps. Oh, here it is. It's one of them, or should no, hold on, hold on. Let's add one more, and you can see what's on my phone, but I don't really care. So, you're gonna need that, and then you're gonna need where's the other one? Where's hell? You're gonna need this app, and then you're gonna need a file manager, which is all the way over here need all three of those apps so yeah so first this is the this is gonna be a really like there's gonna be episodes to this so stay tuned to the end if you really want to know how to make a texture pack real badly and it's just, just making a simple texture pack it's not like making crazy things like realistic ones I do not know how to make realistic ones but soon when I know how to make it I will make a tutorial so yeah so sit back relax if you're a texture pack maker it's gonna be really long so you can still skip forward and all that stuff and I will put all three apps in the description below. They are for Android, and they all are free, so don't worry. But, yeah, let's get to this. So, basically, this is the file-finding episode. Basically, you can grab any texture pack you want. Just make sure it's under copyright law, like the person who ported it or made it actually could say you're copywriting. Because you can take any texture pack and remodel it to be yours. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give you guys the original textures so you guys don't get any copyright stuff or all that from the creators. So the original textures will be in the description below. They are 0 0.9 and there's nothing wrong with it because 0 0.10 didn't really change anything. So yeah, but this does work still. So don't worry. This is 0 0.10. Sorry, 0 0.10 and 0 0.9. I don't know why it says 0 0.9. But yeah, so you basically want to open up your file manager, download the original textures in the description below, and you're going to make or find it and then unzip it once you unzip it you're gonna see all this stuff you're gonna be like oh my god Des, I don't know what to do don't worry you don't need to know the lib you don't need to know the meta info you don't need to know the res you don't need to know anything else except the assets that's all you got to focus on the assets now you don't have to worry about the fonts you don't have to worry about the lang. So you're gonna click on assets and you click on images all this is super easy guys it looks complicated but it's really easy so first off we're gonna texture we're going to grab files and switch them up and all that stuff and do all this jazz. So basically, let me guess, let me just get to all this. The terrain.atlas, or the terrain slash atlas, as you see, these, terrain.atlas, all of these, and this right here, and all the way down, is basically the terrain, all the blocks. So basically, you can texture any block you want. You have to texture each one one by one, but I'll do that in another video, and it's a lot of work. So it's just, this is all the files of it. So the armor is basically all the armor files as you know of. There's chain, then there's leather, then there's diamond, then we have gold, then we have iron, and that's that's it. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Okay, then we have the arts. The arts is all the paintings. You can customize them. And I'm going to show you how to customize each one if you want to. You do, do not mess with this. Do not mess with this folder. folder. The color mapping, do not mess with. The ent Everything else you can mess with except the color mapping. And here's all the stuff like the clouds, the moon phases, the sun. But yeah, I'll get to that the second episode. This episode, we're just going to do file finding and all that stuff. So I'm just going to tell you all the files and all that stuff and what you're going to need. And the fonts are basically all the text for the chat that pop up. So you can change them, but I don't know. It's your choice. You can make it all colorful. But there's 224 of them. So yeah. The GUI is the cool part. This is all the amazing part. Amazon is basically if you have Amazon Fire, I think it's a Fire, Amazon Fire. That's the controls and what it will look like, and you can put it on Amazon because you can buy Amazon in Minecraft Pocketion. The panorama is cool because the panorama, panorama is what moves in the background of Pocketion. You can change it and do little stuff and all that jazz, and that's pretty cool. And now here's the other cool part. So you don't have to worry about the background PNG or the BG32. You don't have to worry about the cursor or the default world, but here's what you have to worry about. So I do do not do not worry about GUI 2. Do not worry about GUI 2. GUI 2, do not have to worry about. It is GUI. Just GUI.png is we have to worry about. 
but it's giving you guys all a heads up for episode two. GUI is what you have to worry about, and this is the part where it takes a lot, a lot, a lot of timing to do. Now here's the icons where you can change the armor pictures and all that stuff, and the hearts. Now we have these other icons, then we have the title. You can change the title, just remember it has to be transparent. If you are a YouTuber and you don't have a Minecraft Pogation title, download the texture pack, go to the title, and just copy and paste it into something else, and put it into your pictures. This title is transparent, but it's a really old title, so I really don't know if you would like to use it. Do not worry about these, and do not worry about these, unless you are you want to spend your time a lot on that. Now next up, we have the items, which I really don't have to worry, you guys really don't have to worry about. I don't care for it. It's just arrows, signs, and the chest, if you want to customize the chest in one sort. They take a lot of time. Just to tell you, it takes a lot of time to use, uh, to make a texture pack. So that's why I'm going to put little bits of episodes. Now here are all the characters. The character dot, the char dot PNG is the Steve. Then here's the chickens, the cows, and all the mobs. Just all the mobs in general. And I will edit one mob and show you how it looks and all that stuff. And the sheeps all have different coloring and all that stuff. And it's just, I don't know if you want to edit all the color sheep because I wouldn't recommend doing it. Now here's the villagers. The villagers all have... They're all different. There's the butcher, there's the farmer, there's the librarian, then there's the priest, and then there's the smith. And then the noble villager in Pogdition. Again, you can custom you can customize everything in here, but again, remember do not mess with the colored map. That's the only thing you should not mess with. Here's the compass PNG of when it moves, then we have the fire atlas. Then this, this, my friends, is what you're gonna wanna worry about. This is what all texture pack makers aim for is this in the terrain dot atlas the particles i don't really you shouldn't really care about and then there's the clock now we're gonna i'm gonna show you a, f a little bit of texturing of what you're gonna see the second episode so basically how to make a texture pack so you're gonna want to copy anything you're gonna make like mess with so i'm gonna copy the item opaque the items opaque you want a home button it Scroll all the way down to the file you put in the YouTube, or the textures in, or any file really, and just paste it in there, and then BAM! So once, then you're just gonna, once you've done that, then you're just gonna wanna leave, open up ISO pics, and something will pop up here, don't worry about it, if it does pop up, or if it doesn't, so yeah. So yeah, that, that's the faithful, don't worry about that. Uh, how do I, how do I remove this? I don't even know. Okay, so you're going to want to click the box with the two lines in it on your phone. It it's I think it's right next to the home button or back button. Mine is right next to the home. It's like it's a rectangular box and it has two lines in it. You know what I mean by there. So you're going to want to click on that. And then once you click on that, you're going to click on images. Or not images, sorry. You're going to click on file. Click on file and you're going to click on load image. So once you click on that, it will give you a list of all the files you have. And wait, mine's loading up. Cause it's gonna take a while because I'm recording. And let me go back. Okay. So if you do end up in this, all you gotta do is click data. Oh wait a second, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, sorry. If you do end up in this area, which you probably will, just scroll the way down, click on SD card, and you're done. You're done. And just scroll the way down and look for the file that your thing is in. Mine's in YouTube, and then right here you can see it, the item opaque. You want to click on it, and it will wait a while, and it will open it. It will load the image, and you will see everything. It is transparent, and it shows every one of the items, and you can texture it. This is when you start to texture, guys. So I'll show you how to make them and all that stuff the second episode. If you did like this first episode, drop a like, and yeah, just drop a like if you guys want this. Or if you not want this, if you want the second episode, and subscribe if you're new to stay tuned for the other episodes. So yeah, if this, again, if this did help you, drop a like for the little file thingy, and then I'll show you the next episode how to actually make these texture packs and all that stuff. Just, I want to start little by little, because it is a lot of work, guys. But yeah, so, peace.